Alrighty, so this question gives us a little bit of a scenario. There's a lifeguard who's roping off a rectangular swimming area with 180 meters worth of rope. And remember that the shoreline is one length of this rectangular swimming area. Now, the part, uh, the first part of this question asks for the dimensions so that we can get the maximum area inside of this rectangle. And the second question asks what exactly is the maximum area. So first off, I want to start off by drawing a diagram, right? Remember, this is a rectangular swimming area with the shoreline as one length of your rectangle. So imagine uh, this is the shore shoreline of the beach, uh, and that's one side of my rectangle. And just filling in the other side here, all these straight sides here, they represent my 180 meters worth of rope. Now, I want you guys to remember that, um, you know, we don't know a single side of this uh, rectangle here. So I'm going to have to make one of these sides equal to x, okay? I'm going to make this side here be x. And remember, since it's a rectangle, the opposite side is equal. So this is going to be x as well. Now, if the rope was 180 meters in total, well, what's the length of this side? It's just going to be 180 minus these two sides here. So it's going to be minus x minus x, which will be minus 2x. And uh, what I did just then was I found lengths for each of the sides of my rectangle, not including the shore because I don't care about that, right? Anyways, we need to find the maximum area. Whenever you want to find the maximum area, what you always need to do is let the area be A, okay? We're going to give it a name first. Let area be A. And if you want to find the maximum area, all you need to do is let a dash equal to zero. So I just wrote some notes for you guys up here. If you want to find a maximum area, you let A dash equal to zero. If you want to find a maximum volume, you let V dash equal to zero. And if you want to find a maximum height, you let H dash equal to zero. Do you guys kind of see the pattern here? It's just whatever you're trying to find a maximum of, you get the dash of that and you make it equal to zero. So let's do that with the area over here. So with my area, let me first actually find an equation that represents it. So how can I find the area of a rectangle? I just need to multiply the length and the width, right? The two different dimensions of this rectangle. So I'm going to have x times 180 minus 2x. And that's going to represent the area of my rectangle. Now, I want to find a dash of this, right? But I can't find a dash yet. I still got my brackets. So let's just expand those out. And I'll get 180x minus 2x squared. And then now I need to think to myself, okay, oops, sorry, that wasn't a dash, that was just a. Now I want to find a dash. So that's going to be 180 minus 4x. And remember what I said before with the notes, if you want to find a maximum error, you let a dash equal to zero. All right, so I need to let a dash equal to zero. And I'm just going to do the working out up here. Um, okay, that's going to be 180 minus 4x equals a 0. So x is just going to equal to 45. Okay, and 45, remember your units, it's going to be 45 meters. So that means that x is equal, equal to 45 meters on here, 45 meters on here. And along the top, it's going to be 180 minus 2 times 45. So it's going to be 90 meters up the top. Now, that's fantastic. I found that x is equal to 45 meters, but I still do need to show that this is actually a maximum area. And how do I show it's a maximum area? If you want to show that it's a maximum, you need to do a y dash table, right? So with the y, uh, y dash table, instead of doing y dash now, I'm actually going to be doing an a dash table technically. So the x's are along the top and the a dash values are going to be down the bottom, okay? Now, since I only have one value of x, then I'm just going to put that in the middle right here. So that's x equals 45. Now, I need to think of an x value, which is less than that. I'm going to choose um, 0, okay? And I'm also going to choose something above 45. I'm going to choose, let's just say, 100, all right? That might make things easy. All right, so all I need to do is substitute all of these values into a dash. So... A dash was 180 minus 4x, right? So if x is equal to 0, I have 180 minus 0. So that's going to be 180 here. And 180, that's a positive, right? That's a positive. So that means I have a line that's increasing from left to right. Now with 45 here, well, if I subbed 45 into there, 
it would be 180 minus 4 times 45, or 180 minus 180, which is just 0, right? That means at this point, that's where I have my stationary point. Now, if I subbed in x equals 100, well, that's going to be 180 minus 4 times 100, and that's going to be 180 minus 400, so that's going to be minus 220. All right, if it's minus 220, then that's obviously negative, right? So that means I have a negative gradient. So it's decreasing from left to right. And what I can see I have here is what looks like a maximum, right? It looks a little like this, the top of the hill. So I have a maximum at x equals 45 meters. All right, and this is working out fully done for the first question so yep yeah, um actually you know what yeah let's let's do that second part too what is the maximum area so i just found out that the maximum area occurs when x is equal to 45 meters right so i want you to think about this this trying uh sorry this rectangle right here if this is 45 meters and this is 90 meters uh, we should probably list that out as well so we'll say uh, i'll do the working out up here um, we're going to say, therefore, these are the dimensions. So the dimensions are um, 45 meters by 90 meters. Okay. And then now we can find a maximum area. So max area is going to equal to 45 times 90. And what's that going to equal to? Uh, that's 360 plus... Uh, all right, my brain's a little bit fried right now. Okay, 3,600 uh, 3, plus 450, so 40, 50. Okay, I think I'm right. Uh, yep, 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 I should be good. Okay, and remember your units, it's going to be meters squared, and you're done with the question, all right? Um, if your teachers do want you to put concluding statements, please do that as well, and that will be helpful. Um, so you don't get any marks docked off. But anyways, so that's the working out for this maximum question.